Bah! Today is Resistance Festival Day. I apologise for having a Snapchat filter on and my camera this way around. Um, yeah, my real recording camera died about four months ago and I still haven't saved up to uh, to get a new one. So a, a lot of a lot of bad quality video <laughs> is what's happening at the moment. Everything I'm doing is, is on my phone. But, uh, but at least it means that when I've just fallen out of bed and I look like shit, I can use a Snapchat filter and not absolutely hate my face. So that's quite good. Anyway, today, today we're going to Resistance Festival 2024. Um, it's crazy how different I feel about this to last year. I went last year and um, I was, oh, I was so nervous last year. I was I, like, I was literally even days before leaving. I was having like full on like panic attacks, like couldn't breathe, felt like I was going to puke. And I was really afraid I was going to get on the um, on the train and feel like that. And then they'd just like puke all over everyone on the train. And I was so scared about it. And this year I'm just, I'm just really, I'm really excited. Ah, I'm going to be in Sheffield in a little while in my own hotel room. I love fucking hotel rooms. Oh my God. Okay, see you later. I'm in a hotel room feeling maniacal and uh, here is my here is my hotel room I've got two whole windows one and two I've also got rather unexpectedly two whole beds one and two and I also have a deranged hairdo like Einstein don't know what I'm going for tonight don't know quite stoned oh god this looks awful just behave behave Oh no, why is it so awful? Oh, that's better. Not really. I might wear my hat tonight. Um, <laughs> I need to be at the venue in... I don't know. I'm going to order some chips, though. I could order some chips. Yeah. The sweet potato fries with herbs on. What more could you want in life? Oh, it's very exciting and I am slightly stoned at... <laughs> slightly worried about how thin these walls are because um i've just been talking to myself not not even to a camera just to myself and then i was like how thin are the walls i don't know um anyway i need a fucking snooze i need a snooze but i'm also really excited i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i think i'm gonna have a snooze i'm gonna try <laughs> This, this band, who sound kind of like Nickelback drum and bass, um, <laughs> the Nickelback part are not the band I'm seeing tonight, but I think they're responsible for this. Um, and I'm very keen to see this live. I, see, I'm in this bed. I'm in this bed because I'm trying to have a nap. Does it look like I'm accomplishing it? No. Um, I'm kind of like, I could have a drink, but then I'll be tired before I even get to the venue. I should really put my makeup on. What's the time? The time... Oh, why does this watch keep doing this? Why does it keep doing this? Why? Why? Oh, it's 6.04. Okay. No, from over there. I'm testing out my new microphone -y thing and also my new sticky thing. I can stick the phone to the mirror and, um, and then if I don't crash into everything, you can kind of see what I'm wearing. Sort of. I've got... Um, I've got flashy shoelaces. The shoelaces go flash and I'm excited for that. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I'm quite nervous. I am quite nervous actually. And <laughs> I don't know why my eyes are running so much. I think it's because they don't have um, bar soap. They've only got hand, like, you know, like gel soap. I swear whenever I do my contact lenses, when I wash my hands with gel soap, I just, my eyes just water. So I honestly sound like I'm on so much cocaine right now because I'm just sniffing constantly. It's awful. But if I don't, I'm just going to be snotting constantly. So that's that's not good either. Anyway, I think I'm going to have one preparatory drink in the bar just to get me out the fucking out the fucking building because because uh, I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous. Oh, yeah. I'll have one drink and then I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to have to find my own way around there. Thank God for Google Maps. And uh, have a little dance. Have a little dance. Come back here. Roll around my hotel room. Having a nice time getting stoned. Okay.
It's going to be fun. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> back in my hotel room i'm a little bit early but oh my god it was funny zardonic was so energetic and so much fun but there were literally people walking out of the out of the crowds of dancing people and they were like oh oh my god <laughs> coming out of the dance floor like people were people were crippled by zardonic oh my god it was funny yeah i had quite a lot of people compliment me on my makeup and i just had to tell them it's you know, splat splat is stickers i'm too stoned to do the makeup um Oh, I'm too stoned to take off the makeup too, apparently. Okay, here's here's the little sticky thing that the little sticky thing stick to. So, oh, this is so difficult. I'm so stoned. Um I met I met a lovely, lovely person and a lovely, lovely partner though. I met Taz, who was wonderful. I'd looked across the room earlier and I'd seen this amazing pixie creature and I thought, oh wow, that's someone really cool. I bet they'll get to talk to that person. And then their partner who's unbelievably hot i mean i kind of thought i was being looked at, at first by someone that i'm just like not in their league at all and um <laughs> i was like maybe maybe 10 years ago sure but like not now not now um and he comes up or they come up i don't know their pronouns but um yeah and then they were super lovely and then they introduced me to taz and then we were just talking for ages and then i kind of lost them in the crowd at zardonix but i'm hoping i run into taz again tomorrow because they're such a lovely being and they said some really interesting things actually that really made me think so i'm gonna record them um for posterity in case i forget because i am quite forgetful when i'm drunk or stoned so um <laughs> so they were saying that um, they would often go to my ED content, like hoping to be triggered. But then they would come out of it like not feeling triggered, like it would foil their triggeredness or their desire to be triggered would be foiled by it. And I was like, that is fucking interesting because it, it, like, it is like a genuine, like it is like a, a huge dilemma thing. You know, it's, it's a tightrope walk when you make content about EDs that you know can be a social contagion. You know that talking about EDs it helps the people who already have them but there's the potential for like worsening people who are like who may pick up tips that you never intended to get like it's you know so it, when you hear that you've managed to do like almost the impossible i feel like and like reroute a craving reroute a, a desire to be triggered that's that's fucking interesting and that's something i'd like to try and tap into a bit more um in some kind of way i'm just trying to think of like my own Whenever I'm desiring to be triggered, to be triggered, or I'm craving something bad, I can't think of many things that have um, like rerouted me. You know, I'm just trying to think. Like, what is there anything that has ever made me really just second guess what I'm doing? I mean, I've. I think we've all had the experience like okay a bit of an ed trigger warning um for this next little bit of waffling yeah i think we've all experienced the thing where you're searching up trigger pictures like ed trigger pictures and you see one that suddenly makes you go oh, oh that kind of ruins the whole romanticized bullshit that i'm trying to trigger myself into in my mind and usually for me it's an ed picture that's like too serious looking you know where you can tell like 
dude, this girl is not having fun. This girl is like miserable as shit. And you're going to be miserable as shit if you pursue this too. If you keep going down this path, you're just going to be miserable as shit. You know, we all like to lie to ourselves. I think that's what we do when we're trying to trigger ourselves is we lie to ourselves and we look for happy pictures of idiot girls who are still young and it's still fun for them. And we try and convince ourselves that we can get that back. And dude, you can't ever get that back. Um, it's gone. It's gone in the wind. You can, you know, you can join a younger, a younger Proana forum, um, but you won't, you, you won't fit in there. You can pretend to, you can create a character if you like, you can pretend that you're 18 years old. I've never done this, but I bet some people have. Um, you can pretend that you're 18 years old and that you get it. You can, but even like the slang they use, the, the morals they have are so different from the morals that you grew up with. Just, just in, in very small things and in very big things, um, in terms of triggering and in terms of the world at large. And, um, yeah, you can, you can never, not to mention the fact that obviously your body is old and busted and it just doesn't lose weight the way it used to. And it's, it's never going to be that way again. Um, and whenever you see a picture like that, that I find reroutes your, your, your triggery, triggery desires, but I couldn't imagine how it would be done with words. But um, anyway, I need to go scrub my face. Oh, I got my room looking all beautiful. This is doing all rainbows. It doesn't want to look like it, but it is doing all rainbows. And I got some of my little, my little fake candles over here. Choose my bed. Obviously, I'm going to go for the big one. Um, there's also really nowhere logical to put the tea and coffee, so they're just like on the second bed. But um, yeah, it's a nice big bed for me. And um, my view looks really fucking cool right now. Um, you can see right down the street and see what's going on. Oh, I'm very excited to be here. Oh, I feel like I'm giving a speech at the Grammys. <laughs> I'm so very excited to be here. Uh, <laughs> I am, though. Because honestly, like, my health was too bollocks to really go anywhere for, like, ages. That's why I went in 2013. And then my health issue started that, e that, that evening, the end of that year, <laughs> the evening of that year. Um... And then I kind of tried to go in 2014 and it was such a bitch because of all of that. And then I basically just didn't travel since 2013 because of my health being bullshit. Um, and it's like a lot of my reactions have just, it's so weird, like 10 years has gone by and it got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And then suddenly, now that I've reached the 10 year mark, it's like things have suddenly, like I've, pro I've yeah, I, I know I told you this, but I can drink tea again, which is like, wild to me i guess i'm going to bed i've had quite a nice first day anyway this is a waffle i'm, I'm going to bed day one over oh and i've forced myself to drink four glasses of water because i am damned if i'm having a, 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 a hangover tomorrow <laughs> shit that doesn't bode well does it does it no, i can't uh i'm losing the will to speak <laughs> i'm losing the ability to string sentences together i need to do a sleep okay Oh, welcome to the camera being the right way around and not with a Snapchat filter on. So I've got my huge, huge, huge sunglasses on. It's really weird. I woke up at like five and I wasn't hung over at all. And um, I was like, oh, this is nice. I'll just go back to sleep for a bit. And I woke up at like half seven. Ooh, why? <laughs> why does that happen? I don't know. I should have just got up at five. Anyway, I was going to go on a big mission back to Birmingham today and get some makeup stuff that, um, that didn't come in time. But it turns out it hasn't come in time anyway. And to be honest, I'd already decided not coming back to Birmingham. Screw it. I will make my makeup work. <laughs> um, I will make what I've got up here work because I, the idea of being on more trains today was just unfathomably I can't even speak. Unfathomably horrible. Couldn't do it. So um, so anyway, I've, I've had some breakfast. That was nice. Then I had to go on a mission. I had to go and find Sainsbury's, which I've never done here before. But also I found I found a Claire's accessories while I was buying my bar of soap. And I have some really cute things there. And I've got this shark. Look, he's a shark at the front and he goes squish to. Oh my God, look at that. He he can threaten his prey. Do 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 do. <laughs> and um, oh my god the prize the real prize <laughs> i'm gonna cry it's so gorgeous 
a jumbo wiggly. I think what do they, they call them a wriggler now. No, th these are wigglies. These were around in I don't know the nineties, early two thousands, and they were called wigglies. And um, I hope this works the same. They used to be on like a clear bit of string or like thread rather, and you could um, you could like make them dance around and stuff. Is that is that still how they work? Do I have to attach? Oh look, do I have to attach him? Oh look, he's really big. <laughs> he's so colourful. Look at his googly eyes. He's oh, he doesn't want to look at you. There you go. Googly eyes. Oh look, because when you get them on the string, you can make them run through your hands and everything. You can kind of make them make them wiggle all over the place, and um, <laughs> eventually they go all threadbare. But um. Oh my God, I, I saw him and I was like, oh, the way his little nose curves up and everything. Oh, he's so fucking cute. He's my new pet. So um, <laughs> so the room has a pet now, so that's nice. I don't know what I should call him, but he is, he's so rainbow. He's so big. Look, look how big my rainbow wiggly is. <laughs> look how big my rainbow wiggly is. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'm I'm kind of hungover. I, f I feel like the the only way to the only way to get through how hungover I feel is probably to drink a lot of tea and get quite stoned. Um, I, I might be having lunch with a friend when he gets here. I I'm getting a sore throat, man. I'm losing my voice. I hope I was just shouting a lot. I hope I'm not coming down with resistance plague before I've even left resistance. Like I mean, it's pretty much a given that you catch the plague here, but. Um, I don't I don't want it till I get home, thanks. It's so pretty. I like it. It's a shame about this kind of grotty roof when you look down. Just don't look down. Actually, you can't look down because there's a telly in the way. So really, my view is this, which is all the best bits. Ah. It's nearly going out time on day two. This is kind of my lazy outfit, which is basically like yesterday's lazy outfit, but a bit pinker um, and with a hat and with different shiny. Oh, oh my phone's falling off. I'm trying out this new um, this new Octo Buddy thing. It's like a load of suction cups that just sticks your phone to the mirror, and it's pretty cool. But it sometimes makes your phone drop off and kind of go smack in a very disconcerting way. So I'm a bit worried about it. But um, anyway, I think I'm going out. I don't want to go out. Tonight. I'm only going out at all because I've got a friend here. But I'm not going to be out for long. I'm just I'm too tired. I don't want to do this. But uh, okay, I guess I'm going. Day two. I have to get your your shadowiness in full. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. <laughs> You're brilliant. Oh, my room being really, really, really pretty by faux candlelight. You can put faux candles on the bed. There's the city outside. Here's me cozy inside. Oh, I love this hotel room. Oh, I need to go downstairs. I need a fork. I've got a pot noodle and I've got no fork to eat it with. And you can't really eat a pot noodle with a spoon. Whenever I mention pot noodles, Americans don't know what I'm talking about. Um, they think it's something to do with the devil's lettuce, a pot noodle. Like, is it like a like a weed cookie? Is it, but it's noodles? And that's a great idea, but no, it's not. It's just like ramen, but it comes in its own tub. So you, you can be super lazy. You don't even have to wash anything up apart from a fork to eat it with. You just pour a kettle into this tub of like noodles and fake shit. And then you have a pot noodle. A noodle in a pot. Snacks. Day three. <laughs> I think I've slept. Oh, wow, there's a crow. Oh, my God, you've got to see the crow. Dude. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Check it out. There's a crow. There's... Oh, no, he's gone now. Fuck, he was just sat there in that tree. There's such cool crow activity in this room. <laughs> anyway. Ah. Sticky back to the window. Wow, technology. Um, oh man, I think I've slept for like three hours, 20 minutes according to my Fitbit, which is some bullshit because I thought I went to bed early, but then I woke up in the night and I did some editing. And, uh, uh, anyway, now it's like half nine or something, nine nineteen. Uh, why do I feel so grotty? Oh, friends uh, saying to come up to his room. 
because he's about to go so i guess i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna have some breakfast uh You want to show me a tweaker? He's running away! <laughs> He's running away! <laughs> Shit! There's a crow literally roosting right outside my window. Um, I kept seeing it doing like aerial flight. Look, can you see? There's his face or her face. Look! A crow roosting right outside my window. I haven't seen any babies. But she's beautiful. Wow, I can see her blinking. I'm getting leg ache. I'm standing in a really weird position. <laughs> I, oh my god, I just had a huge panic attack though because um, when we came up to this floor just to get my stuff and go out and try and look for a shop that was open, the, the whole of this floor stopped dank of weed smoke and I knew it wasn't me because like I'm not smoking I'm vaping and it was definitely smoke but then when I came back on my own to try and get in my room my key is not working like my, my clicker card it's just not working and I'm thinking they they've smelled the weed smoke they've investigated everyone's room they found my weed and now I'm banned from the hotel I don't have a train ticket today they probably won't let me stay in my friend's room I'm gonna have to go home like ah uh, and um so I went downstairs I was like shaking I was like ready to ready to face the music and be evicted from the hotel and she just had to reset my key card it was fine it wasn't me it was nothing to do with me there was no one had been in my room complete paranoia but um no so my key card works again I was like what do you have to get your keycard reset every two days or something? I don't know. <laughs> Way to make me really, 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 really paranoid. I'm still, I'm still kind of unfreaking out from that, to be honest. I think it's time for a snooze. Yeah. Herbie Fry is lovely. Oh, it's Sunday night and it's time to go out. Do do do. Um, I got my makeup on. I've, I've, I, I. I was wise today and I did my eyebrows before I got stoned, got them on my face. The first night I, I knew I wasn't even going to try the eyebrows. <laughs> the second night I tried the eyebrows, they ended up all over my face apart from in the right place. This time I think I have pretty much that one, is more or less, more or less, they're okay. Everything is, is kind of achy, like I've got one achy leg, my neck is not happy with the big heavy choker I've been wearing all three nights, but I'm, I'm going to wear it again anyway because I don't have anything else that I like. Quite stoned, um, <laughs> that was a bit of an accident. Um, yeah, oh it's weird, I was, I was in the bathroom. Let me recreate the scene. I was in the bathroom and you know how hotel bathrooms are just, they're just hotel bathrooms and every hotel bathroom reminds you of every other hotel bathroom you've ever been in. Um, and I was just thinking about being at Whitby in 2001 with Ash and everybody. And um, it, I mean, that hotel bathroom was nothing like this one because it was like a funny little floral guest house owned by some old people because like, like, all the Whitby accommodation is like that. Or it was back then anyway, I don't know if it's like more touristy now, but um, yeah, <laughs> they had a fire alarm. So we weren't supposed to be smoking anywhere, but we discovered there was no fire alarm in the bathroom. So we'd, we'd all be like, it was me and Ash and um, his older friend. It would be like us three and sometimes some others like locked in this tiny floral bathroom, like passing a joint around. I've actually got pictures. I'll put up a picture of me looking like a little teenage crackhead in a bathroom in Whitby in 2001. Um, and um, we had absinthe as well, but we didn't have any like sugar or anything to make it nice with. So we just mixed it with Sprite and um, <laughs> absinthe and Sprite. That was our gothy drink. And, uh, and we had a nice time in our little floral bathroom. That was like our little after party venue. Um, and uh, I don't know what got me thinking about that, but something did. Anyway, it is pretty much time to get my ass over to the venue i'm seeing who am i seeing fuck i don't know uh fab fabsy and simon carter 
Does that mean anything to you? I have done gig revision and I diagnosed them as a yellow band according to my colour coded strip, which means yellow means very, very dancey. So they're going to be very energetic. Then there's a band afterwards who are kind of gothier sounding than most of the stuff on tonight. So I quite like to see them. Then it's Frozen Plasma, who I think I quite like from my gig revision. And then it's a band, I can't remember who, but I don't want to see them. So <laughs> we will see. Um, Okay, I need to get going. Don't get couch locked. Don't get couch locked. You've got to go. Get up. Get up. Get up. Okay, right. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. See you there. I'm so high right now, I've completely forgotten who the fuck I'm watching, but I'm quite enjoying them. <laughs> oh, I just met somebody lovely called Rebecca, and they were super nice, and they had lovely hair, and we had a funny conversation, and I liked it. Oh, and then I left my owl bag behind, and I can't believe I did that, because I'm not comfortable without a backpack on my back, but I didn't have a backpack on my back, and I thought I'd lost it, but it's resistance, and you can leave shit around, and people don't run off with it, which is really cool. Um, anyway, I look like a nutter whispering into my phone. Oh, they're playing something else now. Something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Traversing two lanes of traffic with maximum finesse. <laughs> I'm fucking wasted. I'm too wasted to be in this venue right now. So I'm going home for a while. Maybe for good. We shall see. Well, I am back in my hotel room. Look at the weather. It's absolutely vile. The city looks beautiful in the rain, though. It looks so pretty. There's my ship view. Apart from the fact there's a crow nesting out there, she's beautiful. The mighty bite down there, where I'm kind of considering going to get some junk food. Um, <laughs> I'm going to miss my views. I'm going to miss my views. There's another band on in about um, half an hour that I kind of wanted to see. But honestly, I'm just quite drunk and quite stoned. But equally at the same time, really not entirely feeling the sociability thing. Um, I didn't really feel like being around people and talking to people and I was enjoying talking to people like I was instigating conversations with them feeling like no I'd rather be on my own I talked to lots of interesting people so that was nice uh, I think I forgot to take any methadone before I came out um, now I'm very 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 cold and I can't stop yawning and my eyes are watering like crazy oh my God. <sighs> And I'm in my hotel room. I bought a new hoodie though. I bought, bought a resistance hoodie. Hey, it's over the top of my fluff. So I look like I look like a gorilla at the moment. Um, <laughs> and my hat. And I finally put the heating on. I've had the AC on like the whole time here and now I've put the heating on instead. Oh, I think I'm probably done. I think I'm probably cooked for <laughs> for the year. But you never know. Oh, I met some nice people tonight, though. God, it's interesting, isn't it? Young people, they're interesting. Because you see ones who are kind of so similar to what you were like. Just just thinking back to conversations you had with, with people. If you're like 20 and you're talking to someone who's like 40, you think you know 
what is behind their facial expressions and you think you know what reaction you're getting because you're reading like the surface of what you're getting from like your life experience perspective right and then you realize that's bullshit once you get to be the 40 year old talking to the 20 year old (laughs) and you realize that there's so much more going through the head of the older person and there's so much more judgment and anytime you think dude anytime you think anyone is being oblivious pretty sure they're not um because i remember like when i was young when i was like a kid you know and you know when your parents say things like oh i'll tell you when you're older and you always know exactly what they mean they they mean yeah I, I'm, I'm not going to tell you that because um i'm cheating on my girlfriend and <laughs> she can't know that and you're like eight years old and you won't figure it out and you're own bullshit they always figure it out um things like that but also if you think someone older than you is oblivious i don't know like it's a tough one because you have a lot more preconceived notions but you also have a lot more life experience so are you more likely or less likely to be accurately or obliviously taken in by someone i don't know i don't know um stone pseudo wisdom while my eyes water I don't know what the time is, but I am feeling excessively wise. (laughs) I've disappeared into a hoodie. Um, Like the uh, walking cliche I am, I have Cypress Hill playing. Um, (laughs) They're like, they're just guaranteed to put me in a good mood when I'm stoned. And, um, oh man, I I don't know what's going on with room service this year, but I've tried like three times to... To six times to order, three times to order room service, and um, oh shit, you're sliding down the mirror, you're drunk, you're like melting. How much acid have you had? <laughs> um, yeah, room service, you can't, it's clusterfuck, it's a clusterfuck at the moment. So, the stresses, I was, I didn't want to go into the bar. I, I stood here for about 10 minutes putting my sunglasses on and taking them off again and thinking, can I face going downstairs? I'm too stoned to go downstairs, but I, I really want something to eat. So I've ended up with like a ludicrous amount of snacks considering I'm only here for one more night. But um, so on the menu tonight, we have uh, salt and vinegar Pringles. Mmm, tangy. Um, I bought two because it, it seemed small. I mean, usually you have what, like four of these would make up a normal sized tube so i felt like well, i at least need two um to be honest the idea of eating these is making me feel kind of nauseous but um they seemed like a good idea at the time um and then lame selection of um gummy things no where are the fizzy ones stoned people like fizzy ones these are just squidgy they don't make your tongue go blur and we like the blur please um that I, sh- I should write that in my comments and complaints <laughs> need more um need more bear sweets finally we have these which are quite satisfactory sparkly 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 Look at my view in the rain. Doesn't it make you feel like fucking Batman? <laughs> I'm kind of pissed though. This is um, Frozen Plasma playing and um, I literally missed them about half an hour ago because I was kind of snoozing. <laughs> Shit. In theory, I should zonk out um, at some point and then I will hopefully wake up early enough to tidy the shit tip and get out of the door by... Oh Lord, I'm gonna have to leave at like five past ten to get the Uber to do the. the, the, the oh my God! <laughs> I usually wake up at stupid o'clock. Am I gonna rely on my insomnia to behave itself and to wake me up at the right time? I don't know because whenever you want insomnia to wake you up, it won't do it. Um, we'll see. My God, this looks so good right now. Oh, it looks fucking rotten out there. Good shit, man. <laughs> I hope my little crow friend is uh, not too cold or wet. Seeing the occasional soggy goth come around this corner. I've been able to see people coming and going because you just go around that corner and then you kind of go up. I know that some of you freaks really like tidying, so 
Let's do a before and after. It's really bad, I warn you. Okay, so this isn't even my bed, right? <laughs> but it's been taken over by by my wiggly, by my wiggly. <laughs> I'm a little dude. My squishy, squishy, squishy unicorn. Oh, polo mint, so good. Um, I have three. Did I tell you I brought three flavors of tea? Bottle of sugar. Um, so th this cluster fuck, this is eaten. Oh, apple that hasn't been eaten yet. Um, we have some tea, a crystal, because you never know when you need a nice big crystal. And um, <laughs> odd socks in the bed. Um, lip balm, bullshit, more bullshit. Oh, uh, I apologise for this, um, but uh, the makeup. Literally, I've been here for two days, dude, and um, this is. Uh, this, <laughs> this is the state of affairs. Um, this is my makeup desk after two days. I, I'm feral, dude. I can't. <laughs> and there's my suitcase, um, which is also spilled out all over, all over here. So we're going to make this disappear now. Do a magic trick. So I'll show you it when it's when it's better. Okay. Okay. Turning it into a game. Turning it into a game that it's not so awful. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Well, we are getting there. The room is getting tidier. This is my pile of things to get ready into tomorrow. Most of my shit is in the suitcase. Okay, so this is still kind of a bomb site, but I need all of these things. Um, but I've put away most of my makeup. This is like a little bit better than it was. Um, but I still need most of that shit. And I've, this is my attempt at making my bed. <laughs> it's still a scrinkly, scrunkly mess. I I done I done folded my pajamas and everything, trying to be tidy, trying to make a tidy. <laughs> ah, the lovely, lovely, lovely man at reception managed to get me some sparkling water, even though everything was closed and there wasn't any. He worked a miracle, and then he gave me two bottles for free. So I'm clearly giving off major, <laughs> major pillared energy at the moment. Um, <laughs> It's like, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm eating and drinking fine and I'm not raving on lots of terrible stimulants. I just haven't had decent quality weed in a while and now I'm very bouncy. <laughs> I insist as he tell me his name because there's, um, there's like a piece of paper where you're supposed to write down if anyone at the hotel made your stay really special. So I will have to say his name. Um because he gave me free water in the middle of the night and it's fizzy and it feels so nice on my tongue. I'm so peopled out right now. <laughs> like three days of people. Um, it's a lot of people. Although I was, I was thinking today, like I was thinking, my God, wouldn't it be cool if I came back next year and I actually had like a person. Imagine if I'd found a person who I actually liked enough <laughs> and clicked with enough. Um, to call my person. Realistically, I know that I am very unlikely to uh, to ever really find a person. <laughs> um, I am so... Yeah, I'm still not used to like grey sexuality being a word. Like I'm still used to use, describing it as just being very, very picky. But that, that, that sounds like it's a conscious choice. That sounds like you're consciously like ticking off a list like, ooh, Ooh, I know I like him, but like he's not—he's not like over five ten or whatever. Like it's you know it's it's not it's not a conscious thing. It's just like there's no interest for like like attraction wise with most people. They just it's just not there. Um, and then the being comfortable around people is like a whole other thing too. And the finding them interesting enough to spend a lot of time around is a whole thing too. Um, and you've got to have all of them overlapping like a, like a tiny little Venn diagram. And um, it's difficult. It's difficult. And yes, as you get older, like obviously more and more and more people are taken. Um, yes, you get people getting divorced in waves and coming back on the market. But um, like, yeah, it's not, it's not really reliable. Um, hmm. So yeah, the, the people who... You think they have all the time in the world um, to find a person. You kind of don't. So I very much doubt I will be coming here next year with a person, but uh, I don't mind. I quite like being on my own. Um, 
<laughs> I could have I could have spent the whole of today with someone, but um, third day I'm my battery is like, <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna take this makeup off, and I guess that means it's officially the end of resistance. Oh. I'm simultaneously happy to be going home tomorrow, but also like, no. Oh, it's Monday and I'm going in literally about 25 minutes. Oh, oh, I really want, oh man. I, <laughs> I kind of really want to just go back to bed, but also while I was like getting everything out and I was like just checking, I hadn't left anything in the bed. I think I saw two bed bugs. I killed two somethings. Anyway, two small somethings I killed in the bed. What does one do if one has slept in a bed that may have bed bugs? Obviously, I'm going to like wash my hair when I get home. But I guess I better put like literally like everything that's been in my suitcase had better go in a hot wash. I think um I'm kind of man, should I be an ass about this? Should I <laughs> Should I go downstairs early and be like, oh, there were bed bugs in my room, I demand my money back. I mean, that is, that's not even really unreasonable, is it? Like, literally, there's bed bugs. But um, I don't like being that person. <laughs> so I'll probably mention it. But um, I don't know that I'm going to, like, kick up a stink about it. I've... I think I've left the tissue with the squashed bed bugs in it by the bed by the bed though. Like I don't know I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Just in case I needed to prove to anyone there's bed but they're so squashed, like it could be anything. It could be like a smudge of mascara, like it could be anything. You were fantastic. I am now home with my new hoodie. I bought a hoodie. This is the first time I've ever bought a hoodie from a festival. Like I swear there was some kind of witchcraft on the um the merch stall because I have never seen so many people at an event wearing merch from the event. Like by Sunday, if you went for breakfast, like 80% of the fucking people were wearing this hoodie. It was really weird. And like I say, I never buy these things, but like peer pressure got to me and I bought it. Um, I, quite, I quite like the design down the sleeve and stuff. It's quite nice. Um, <laughs> I needed a new black hoodie anyway, so it's good. Um, also, this thing, got we got lanyards with all the stuff on too, which was useful. Um, if slightly perplexing, because um, resistance are very, very bad at giving out information. Um, their official website, literally, like, you can look, like, a week before the event and it won't tell you the schedule or who's playing. They just don't put that information up there. They talk about, oh, we've got these big bands coming and it's great, but they don't put the information on the website. It infuriates me. Like, other people seem to find out and I don't know how they find out. I fortunately had a DJ friend give me Facebook comments that listed like all the events, all the times, everything. So I had those screenshotted and I'd like highlighted them in different colors. I'd color coded it all for like the bands I wanted to see and what they were like and all of this. Um, but like, if you don't have a DJ friend, like you, you just, you just have to turn up and have no idea what's going on until you like roll up on the Friday and then they give you fancy things. And it's like, you, you made a fancy thing. Could you not just copy and paste it and put it on the website like three weeks ago, please? Um, so that would be nice next year if they would actually like tell us what the fuck is going on. Um, you know, round about the time that you're buying your ticket so you can decide, you know, what ticket to buy and all of that. But uh, anyway, very nice. If I ever have a lanyard, I have a nice. Little thingy. Um, also, love the fact that um, they keep making everything the right colour. Last year it was pastel pink, the wristband, and my hair was black and pink, and lots of my clothes were black and pink, and that was black and pink, and this year it matches me again. So, uh, oh, psychic. Um, I've also obviously got my, my weekly. Um, and I found, <laughs> while I was packing, I found, I'm, I'm, oh, shall I squeak this? Prepare your dog. Um, yeah, I, uh, I acquired a small pink, small pink, a pink pig, a pink pig, um, I can't remember where from, 
someone was giving them out. I was very stoned, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> was it the dude who had the big shark? I'm on the train station, but I didn't say hi. He was carrying the shark and he had like a poly whirl and he had, he had like a whole bunch of things that he was like carrying through the rain back onto the train. I was like, my God, that's dedication. Um, I also, I forgot to film or take pictures of the girl who was wearing on, was it the first night, the second night, both, all? I can't remember, but there was a girl who was literally wearing blow-up dolls, nothing but blow-up dolls, about 10 of them. They were just everywhere. And, um, and I was like, everyone, everyone was being very rude to the blow-up dolls. And I was just patting it on the arm. I, I, I was very, very stoned and it was, it was bothering me how uh, objectified the, uh, the blow-up dolls were, even though they're objects. But uh, I, I felt, I felt an empathy towards them. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. But anyway, this is a giant waffle. Uh, if you made it this far, congratulations on having an attention span in 2024. Nobody, nobody has one of those. You better hide your brain away at night. Somebody might pickle it. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, fuck me. There's a fucking huge pigeon. Wow. Um, I'm going away now. Me and my wiggly. Me and my wiggly. Bye-bye. Do, 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 do. I've had this song stuck in my head all weekend, but then I missed the band because I fell the fuck asleep. Do, do, bye bye.